हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द पावर कपलिंग कैलकुलेशंस। सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट द सोर्स टू फाइबर पावर कपलिंग एंड द पावर कपलिंग फ्रॉम द वन फाइबर टू द अनदर फाइबर सो वी टॉक्ड अबाउट टू थिंग्स सोर्स टू फाइबर लॉन्चिंग ऑफ द पावर and then the coupling of the power from one fiber to another right so today in this video we are going to mathematically compute what is the exact power that is coupled from the source to the fiber and the similar computations can be done for calculating mathematically the power which is coupled from one fiber to another fiber right so let's start our discussion what is the basic scenario we have we have uh, active area over the optical source chip so this is the source right so on the source we have an active area which is represented by this circle from this active area we are generating some radiation and this green part represents the source radiation pattern the radiation pattern that is emitted from the source now here we will be having some acceptance angle for the given fiber now what is the fiber this blue part represents the fiber in which we have core we have cladding the refractive index of the core is n1 the refractive index of the cladding is n2 right we will be having some acceptance angle of the fiber as well which is represented by theta a okay so now in the previous videos we have already talked about the acceptance angle i hope you remember that if you are still confused about the acceptance angle you can go back watch the previous video first and then come to this video now the source brightness the source brightness is represented in the terms of as and oms now what are these things as is the area and this oms this symbol represents the solid emission angle in the 3d right so we have the 3d emission but here we are considering the circular emission only right so power coupled can be calculated using the integration of af over a over af of das over af and of dos bas oms over omf so this is how we can get the total power coupled so now let's put the values of af so now here af will be ranging from 0 to 2 pi 0 to rm right and the ohm omf is ranging from 0 to theta max and 0 to 2 pi so these are the 3d calculations we will be having two degrees and or in the two dimensions we are going to integrate it so we will be having b theta comma phi and because we are using the spherical coordinate system so here you can see we have sin theta d theta d phi which represents the spherical coordinate system we have the spherically symmetric radiation which is emitted from the source so now here we will be having d theta s which is multiplied with r dr so we have two dimensional pattern so we are integrating it in 2d so now b theta comma phi is integrated over the solid acceptance angle and which is represented by this square bracket from here to here i can see that we have the integration of b theta comma phi over the solid acceptance angle over d theta and d phi now d theta is changing from 0 to theta max and phi is changing from 0 to 2 pi right so after that we will be seeing how the theta s is changing and how the r is changing r is changing from 0 to the maximum value of r and we are going to see how we can change the r as well so the total power coupled can be found out by summing the contribution from each individual emitting sources over the each area d theta s and over r dr as well first we are going to integrate the b theta phi over the acceptance angle over the full angle in theta and phi and after that over the full area d theta s and over r dr as well so this is how i am going to get the total power so now the emitting surface i have chosen it to be circular now in this manner because the emitting surface is circular i have used the spherical coordinate system now condition on this rm so if the source radius is lesser than the fiber core radius then i will be taking the upper limit as the source radius rm will be equal to source radius 
right because source radius was smaller so upper limit would be source radius but if source radius is greater than the fiber radius then rm would be equal to the fiber radius the smaller among the two is taken as the rm so now here i have considered the source radius is less than the fiber core radius and i have taken the upper limit to be rs so i have taken this first condition i have chosen rm is equal to rs so here we will be having integration from 0 to rs integration from 0 to 2 pi and here this b theta comma phi b theta comma phi is represented as b naught cos of theta yes we know that so in the previous video we have already talked about the b theta comma phi how b theta comma phi was equal to b naught cos theta for surface emitting leds now we are talking about the leds only and surface emitting led we have put b naught cos theta and here i already had the sine theta d theta and integration over d theta as r dr right so now how i can integrate this thing i can take 2 sine of theta cos of theta and i can divide by 2 so it would be sine 2 theta and i can easily integrate sine 2 theta right so here we will be left out with pi b naught integration from 0 to rs 0 to 2 pi sine square theta naught max d theta s r dr right so now here because the phi term was not there we have taken the phi term to be 1 and integration of phi over 2 pi would be 2 pi only so from here this 2 pi factor came and because i had integrated over theta so now this sin square theta max came from the integration over theta now i have to integrate over d theta s and r dr now when i integrated this because sin square theta can be represented as sin square theta sin square theta can be represented as numerical aperture square which does not depend upon theta and r so i can take the sin square theta as na square i can take out pull out the na square because it is independent of theta s as well as r so i can pull it out from the integration so i will left out with pi square rs square beta b naught na square so na square came as it is b naught came as it is integration from 0 to 2 pi theta s would be equal to 2 pi and integration from 0 to r s r dr would be equal to r square upon 2 so now here 2 and 2 will get cancelled out and here i will be left out with pi square r s square beta not b naught n a square so which can be equated as 2 pi square r s square b naught n 1 square delta so this was the relation of numerical aperture and relative refractive index so this is how we have found out the power of led for the step index fiber to be equal to 2 pi square r s square b naught n 1 square delta in the terms of relative refractive index now i can calculate the power from the source also the power of the from the source of area a s in the hemisphere 2 pi s r can be calculated also so now i am going to calculate the power from this source as well so power of the source can be calculated as a s integration from 0 to 2 pi and 0 to pi by 2 because it was a hemisphere here we have the limits from 0 to pi by 2 only and b theta comma phi sin theta d theta d phi because here we are using the spherical coordinate system so now here i can take the pi r s square 2 pi b naught i can take it outside and now here because this integration from 0 to 2 pi d phi will be directly equal to 2 pi right so pi r s square and beta b naught will be coming outside for the a s and now 0 to integration from pi by 2 cos theta sin theta again i am going to divide by 2 multiply by 2 make it the formula of sin 2 theta and integrate so i am left out with pi square r s square b naught so this is my p s so now p s is equal to p s now here if i put pi square r s square here we have pi square r s square b naught so if i put it equal to 
PS. It is equal to PS. So if I put it equal to PS in P LED for step in step index fiber, so P LED for step index fiber will be equal to PS and a square, right? So for RS is greater than a. This was the condition that we had chosen, and for that reason, I had taken the upper limit to be RS. Now for RS greater than a. This was the condition. Now for the graded index fiber, we know for the graded index fiber the numerical aperture. Here we took the numerical aperture outside because it didn't depend upon the R, right? But now for the graded index fiber, we know the refractive index of the core depends upon R as well. So we cannot pull it outside. We have to take it into the integration. We have to take it into the consideration as well. So power coupled from the LED to the graded index fiber will be represented as 2 pi square b naught integration from 0 to R S. So here I cannot take it outside. It is n square R minus n 2 square, which is the numerical aperture of the graded index fiber. So now here when I integrated it. So you can remember it. So it came out to be 2 pi square R S square B naught n 1 square delta 1 minus 2 upon alpha plus 2 R S upon a raised to power alpha, right? Alpha is the incremental profile parameter, right? So profile parameter we already know we had talked about it in the graded index fiber as well. So now here in the terms of PS also because PS is pi square RS square beta naught. So we can represent it in the terms of PS as well. So it will be equal to 2 PS NI square delta 1 minus 2 upon alpha plus 2 RS upon a raised to power alpha, right? So these are the integrations which are relatively complex. Now if I want to reduce the integration mathematical computations, I can use the computer based methods. I can use the computer to do all of these computations because here for the LEDs and for the surface emitting LEDs, it can be done. But for the edge emitting LED, we had already seen how the radiated power is more complex than the surface emitting LED. And for the lasers, it is much more complex. So I cannot use the mathematical methods or the integration method for calculating the total output power or the power coupling from uh, the source to the given fiber. For that reason, I have to use the computer based method and the computer based analysis is using the Fourier technique instead of numerical integration, which can be used to rapidly calculate the power coupled from the LED to the given fiber. Now, in all of these cases, what I have assumed, I have assumed in between the source and in between the fiber, I have this medium. So the medium is containing the refractive index, which is equal to the refractive index of the core. So here we have the refractive index N1, which is not true. Sometimes it is air, sometimes it could be another medium as well. So now we have the assumption that the refractive index of the medium between the source and cladding matches the refractive index of the core that is N1. But if the refractive index of the medium is not equal to N1 or the medium is air or any other thing. So the power coupled is reduced in that case and the power coupled is reduced by the factor R which is equal to N1 minus N upon N1 plus N square. Where R is the Fresnel reflection which means the reflectivity at the fiber core and face. Now small r. Small r is the reflection coefficient. Reflection coefficient is N1 minus N upon N1 plus N. So now small r relates the amplitude of the reflected wave to amplitude of the incident wave. So we should understand we can have the reflected wave also when I am coupling the power from the source to this fiber and small r is going to relate the amplitude of the reflected and the incident wave. So I hope you understood all of the things that I have discussed in this video. If you have any doubt regarding any concept, you can put the doubt in the comment and I will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible. I hope you like this session. If you like it, please push the like button, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Thank you so much.